Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to my Remnants of Agmar campaign. Now I know I'm still running my Goblins of Moria one, but uh, Goblins of Moria was supposed to be a filler anyways and since I get uh, plenty of time I thought about uh, starting this already because uh, yeah, like Remnants of Angmar, like um, it seems really good for me to play. I just like the location, I like the units of theirs, how they look, how they play. Well, how they play, I, I have no idea, we'll just see. But I suspect some conventional warfare, you know, just some archers in the back, we get some good archers, some cavalry if we can, I don't remember if we have like decent cavalry. Oh, I'll just find out uh, when I get inside. O obviously I can go to the custom map, but there's no fun in that. I wanna find out about the uh, the units uh, slowly. Pretty much, I still remember Dolomroth, which uh, as I was playing at the end of the campaign, I realized I had a unique unit in Ethelond, which was uh, the White Guardians of Ethelond or something, which it was like a skirmish cavalry with anti-large bonus, which have made, uh, would have made the battle against Kant much, much easier, but whatever, it's fine. So, um, Let's check over the faction and special features, the Witch King of Angmar. Um, I have no... Uh, crap, I didn't check uh, Galo's video before actually going in. Um, I will, after uh, possibly the second or third episode, because I'm gonna record like three in a row, because I really wanna play. Um, so yeah, uh, please feel free uh, if you know what the uh, this script does. If uh, I suspect it's something like if we get the ring, we get the Witch King of Angmar, which would be nice or something. Rare units, we have the Barrow Whites Num uh, from Numenorean cities. Ooh, that's good. And Snow Trolls from Ethenmoors or Gundabad. Oh, so we get um, Snow Works, uh, Snow Trolls from uh, Rudor up here from Cometh Bryn, pretty much. And Morvatarth, and possibly Burgram, yeah, okay. And from Gundamad up here, which is allied, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Obviously, if we grow big enough, we can do whatever we want. Alright, and uh, what do we got here? Well-rounded faction, versatile roster, multiple enemies, and armor-piercing specialists. Great, because if we run into a war with Ered Luin, we're gonna need that. But I hope uh, that uh, they will, um, they might win, uh, they might go bad this time, just stand alone or whatever. Notable units, Guardians of Karn Doom, Battle Whites and Dark Blades. Alright, let's get inside. Uh, I've already thought about uh, a strategy on how to play this, so I will begin by explaining that I, I play Total War since I can't even remember, that's how much time. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not trying to just uh, do stuff like pulling out the garrison um, uh, or even worse, like um, anymore, anymore. I used to do that. But yeah, for example, if I will go into a battle, for example, um, it's... Oops, sorry for that. It's just my, uh, my phone. Um, what was I talking? Yeah, like, for example, I'll just open up the map so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. So, for example, if we go to Bartelek, I'm not just gonna take this guy and this guy and possibly, like, uh, these two and then uh, wait for them to sally out so, you know, you can uh, defeat them uh, in the open field. No, I will just take uh, a big enough army, same strength, and I'm gonna go in. Because I just feel it's more... Um, it's just more fun, like how I can't explain this. Now, I've already said that I'm not gonna go like full, uh, like, uh, idiot mode, which is uh, refusing to play the game, but I'm just saying that if something is gonna happen, for example, if I send my army to Barcelona, I'm just talking random at the moment, it might be another city later down the line. If I take a small army and I see that it has a garrison inside, uh, of course I'm gonna play it, but it's only because it's gonna be organic, you know? I want everything to be organic, not for me to just uh, see right here, like, alright, uh, there's some uh, bandits in here, so we can just uh, bring four units, uh, make them sally out, defeat them and get the city immediately. No, I'll go there and uh, I'll try to go in. I'll probably like lose all of my army, which is completely fine, I prefer that, it's more fun. And uh, yeah, I like having uh, one army around at a time, 
I'm only explaining this for new people. Uh, the the guys that are around the channel for much longer already know how I play pretty much, uh, which is somewhere in the middle. Uh, I try to actually give some uh, the upper hand to the AI because it's really uh, you know it's it's medieval too. It's not supposed to be like terrific or anything. So you gotta tone down a little bit in order to enjoy it. All right, so. I will show you what I thought about this because we have like multiple allies, uh, I mean enemies and uh, we're pretty much alone, like we got nobody up here as you can see. So my strategy is gonna be something like, um, I will ignore Morva Tarth, I will, uh, because it's a small village and the same goes for Notvaroklo, it's also a small village. I can't defend this one properly and I have a fort here which can support some units and another one up here. So. I'm gonna try to expand northwards, which is like Bartseleg, Angsul, Gobdrain, and uh, even uh, later down the line, uh, Bari Donionak, which will be my stopping position. Because right here, as you can see, like even if the dwarves attack us, and Enedwaith, and Bree, and the elves at the same time, we are going to have this fort right here, which can support extra, uh, some extra units, so it will be able to help uh, with Gob Drain if it comes under siege, the same is gonna happen to this one. At the very worst, if he gets attacked first, like we can send some units and uh, at least buy enough time. It will buy us enough time. Uh, it can also support Bari Donionak. So yeah, I will try to expand up here. I will ignore the small cities. The Dunedain can have it. I will try to maintain my defensive position over here because of the, this and this fort, like I can just send troops really fast and just uh, cramp them. Um, now what else? Um, I, th I think that is it. And then we're just gonna reach Anuminas, Deadman's Dyke, Fornost, and we'll see how it's gonna go. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be my strategy because we are us against everybody. So uh, after taking all that out of the equation, let's, uh, let's see what we are gonna do. Uh, all right, let's begin by recruiting a diplomat. I should do that every uh, on every campaign. I always forget um, Now I want only one army for the uh, For when we begin uh, You know expanding and also like I can't afford anything else because if we check here like this guy costs 300 this guy costs 300 as well This guy costs something like 400 and this guy costs almost the same. So we can't afford to have a big uh, army led only by one general. Uh, that's my point. So um, believe it or not, I will drop all of my heroes, all of my unique generals, because they are unique. All uh, Everybody you begin with is a unique one, which I love it. I'll try to keep them alive. The rest I don't care about. And I will only have uh, Overlord Agandaur. Lieutenant of Mordor to lead my one and only army and after that as we as soon as we get uh, bigger and bigger and start building up I'll just uh, Have uh, the next one to just make up an army and lead it. So um, Let's begin How many free upkeep units can we support here two? Three this guy if I remember correctly He's a dark blade guy. Yeah, he's a dark blade I've played so many times against Hangmar, I remember everything. Um, Alright, so we'll drop this guy then in here. So we have a full garrison over here. Let me get a tower right up here, because I'm not going for more of our tarth. And I still need to see what's coming after me. Um, these uh, wolves, I will need them. I'll try to get them into the barracks for now. So just drop in there. UTMP, get over here, get me a tower. Sweet. And you're gonna get me another one over here. Uh, you, uh, let's bring you like this way. Get me a tower there. And another one over there. And I'm gonna drop him into this fort. Alright. Um, this guy. Let's get this one over there. How many can we support? Another two. Mm, what should we get? I'll just get the melee units. All right, let's send you over there. All right. Um, 
How many units are gonna drop in here? These ones I will actually send them to help out because I'm gonna need cavalry. It's always nice to have cavalry. So, these two guys are going there. This guy is coming here. So we can get two units actually off from here. I will choose... Uh, the pikemen are always good. Uh, Rude or savages. These guys are armor piercing, right? Right, okay. I'm gonna definitely need these ones as well then. And uh, Bartelig is right over here. I'll move these guys something like this. Alright. Okay, and let's try to build something. I've seen the economy of uh, Hangmar. I can't say that I love it. It's really bad. We don't have like any unique mines. Uh, it's just a standard one from Litas. Actually, let me see. Where is it? There it goes. Yeah, it, it's not like anything great and we don't have like great farms or something like that. Um, and uh, what I noticed is we gain a population growth by this, uh, with the Shrine of Melkor, so we should uh, try to build that immediately. But for the time being I can go with something like uh, a grain exchange here in Mount Gram. And over here, actually wait, do we have a meeting hall? Yeah we do. Do we have one here? Yeah we do, okay. So I'll go with Mason's Halls in both of these and just a grain exchange here. My pattern is I build anything that's beyond, uh, below 1000, which is just a grain exchange, then build a Mason's Hall and then just build until 2000 uh, worth of buildings. Because uh, I just find it more, um, it, it's just organized better. And when we get the second tier of um, Carpenter's Hut or uh, Mason's Hall, then I, I keep going with buildings that are worth more than 2,000. Uh, it just helps uh, keep order in my mind. I just uh, It's just how I, I am. And you're gonna notice me building towers all over the place. Uh, on top of roads, that is. I never build towers anywhere random, just on top of roads. Okay, I think... Um, do we get a spy? Oh yeah, right. Oh, he's right. He, I uh, right up on my face. I'll um, actually try to keep him like here. Nah, I'll keep him here. I want to see the Northern Dunedain if they will come. All right, let's uh, end the turn. Do we get a mission? No, we don't begin with one. And am I recruiting here? I am. All right, let's get. Oh, pikeman! I want the pikeman. Let's go. Show it begins. All right, here comes all the reclaimment. New mission, take rebel settlement Bartelag. Okay, good. Um, now you get me a tower here. Actually, have it in between. All right, you guys get from over here. Yeah, between, because there's two road connections here. And you get in there, champ. You get me a tower here. Oops, there we go and then go straight for that fort. Now, we are going to take these guys towards Barzeleg. There we go. How far can you... Okay, we have to attack from here. Initiate the attack. Let's bring these bad boys. Let's bring these ones. All right, I said I'm gonna have like one general on, uh, on the army. And our overlord, Agandaur, the hope of our nation is going to be doing that for starters. He's going to be the first one to do it because he's got 10 star commands, like OP as hell. But, like, uh, this is like what I'm supposed to be doing. The fort here is going to be like the defensive uh, mechanism of Barteleg. So, like, we can have Hunvorn, for example, coming here just for this battle. Then I'm going to drop him back inside the fort because I can't 
uh, afford to uh, have him around. How much does he cost to be exact? Yeah, he costs a lot. So yeah, we're just gonna use him uh, not now, next turn. No need to suffer the upkeep as we besiege. And we will drop these two guys inside this fort we're building. We got our diplomats. Uh, we're gonna send him to Gundabad because I still remember that when I was playing with Gundabad, for some reason I wasn't trading with Angmar. And I realized it like turn 100 or something. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's still the same. I'll go over there in order so we can trade. And now, do we want more troops? Um, well, they wouldn't hurt if I could just get cheap ones, like these guys. How much do these guys cost for recruit? Okay. Um, uh, we should be alright, I think. Did we get rams? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's, um, let's get you here. And let's keep going. Oh man, this campaign is gonna be so all over the place. Because if my strategy, what I have planned, fails, then I'm gonna be all over the place. Because everybody's gonna be swarming me from all sides. Alright, you champ stay right in here. Uh huh. We're doing great. You stay as you are in there. And I'm gonna have this guy come uh, here. The great thing about Hillmen is that they... Look at this. The upkeep. They're really, really cheap. They're gonna be our main uh, infantry uh, force. Alright, do we have enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's drop uh, this guy to help out. These ones. I'll just uh, have them exit. I just want to match their strength. Do we match? Yeah, we have like... We're good. Oh, I just saw the force. Uh, Hillmen, shell swords are gonna be a problem, but that's what we got the rude or savages for. Woodland hunters... Um, these guys hit really hard. For example, both of uh, these guys, they also hit hard, but they don't have too much armor. So, uh, yeah. Mm, Alright, come over here. We're gonna be chasing missions. We can uh, drop this guy in here and just have one of these leaves. Oh, it's gonna be the same. Whatever. Let's go. Let's have our first battle in Barcelona. As I explained earlier, like I don't like the enemy force to be selling out unless it's organic, obviously, as I as I mentioned. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go in and have some fun time, just uh, busting some skulls. Um, now, who's gonna lead the run? You. Because you get seals. You can go on loose formation. You champs can uh, actually stay on Cantabrian. How much is your range? 110? Really? Oh god. You guys are pathetic. Alright, let's bring you champs right over here. Oh, and you drop that. Alright, let's begin. Go straight for that. Uh, let's go see what they've got. Alright, we need to uh, stay close and also in Cantabrian because they're gonna be wasting ammo on us. But I don't know if the 110 can actually reach in there. Alright, you know what? Let's wait for some of our forces to get in. Because we can actually, like, if we fight over here, shoot them in the back, which is going to be great. What the hell are you doing? Alright, I think we can have these guys follow up now. Come on, my brave Angmarim. I think we're going to be playing a lot with uh, Rudor in the beginning, because they're really dirt cheap. And they're bringing a lot to the table. So, for example, we have the Rudor Savages, which are the armor-piercing um, answer. We have the Pikes, which are always good. It doesn't matter if they're an even if they're unarmored and things like that. And we also got the Hillmen, which 
they do exactly what we want uh, exhaust the enemy uh, whatever unit it is like even if they're fighting like elite infantry they still will exhaust them and then we can have something like more of elite to go in and uh, just uh, take them down all right so how we want to play this we need to go from two places so i will have like this guy go from here this guy will go from here these whites yeah let's bring them also from here keep the whites together so you champ go from this place you will go from here and you from over here let's do it All right, go, go, go. Oops, they're coming to face us. We gotta, what do we, all right, bring the pikes up and just rust them. Ooh, they're woodland hunters. Yeah, rust them. Same goes for you. Is that more? All right, let's bring you from over here. Is that the same? That's the freaking same. Why are they? Damn, all right, let's go. Let's go, my man. Rust. Ah, the whites are gonna go first. That's also nice. Uh, crap. Loose. Loose. And run. Come on, we don't have much armor. You gotta get in there, boys. You gotta shut them down. What the hell are they doing? I'm gonna get three kills. Get them, boys. And you keep coming from the back. We're gonna lock them down. All right, you get in there too. So pretty much they had three woodland hunters, didn't they? Yeah, they're all shut down. They managed to do some damage, but that's all they were able to do. I right, come from the back. I could go and open the gate for the cavalry, but it's fine. I don't need it at the moment. Get out of that and go attack. And come on, catch them, catch them, catch them. Chase them. Are they gonna be coming from here? Because if they are, I'll just lock them from here as well. Alright, you go from uh, the side and shut them down. Alright, fight these ones. Fight these ones. Forget about those. We'll just catch them like this. And let's hit a special ability. I will take a look later what these abilities actually do. Are they gonna get a shot off? Come on, Rudor. Show me what you've got. Just one kill on the impact. Pathetic. Ooh. Alright, we killed all of these. Have the pikes go in first. Make them go back into formation and go... Uh, Alright, set up over here. Set up over here. Whites, stand down. You as well. They have no archers anymore. We can bring these ones in order to shoot them from the back. So, let's get out of loose formation. Come on. I mean, some of them escaped, but it's gonna be alright. Okay, you know what? Go and clean these guys out real fast. These guys are falling. He's losing a lot of men <laughs> for fighting freaking hunters. But that's, you know, the difficulty. It's fine. Alright, let's get you here. And you boys, shoot them in the back. Let's wait where they're gonna go so we can meet them with these. Pikes, move in formation. Ah, somewhat. Right, can you get better shots? Whatever, just get from over here. No, 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 no. Prepare to get a charge off. Dude. Are you okay? I don't see them shooting from up here, so... What's wrong with you? Alright, whatever. Now, you back over there. You come back to here. Are they broken? No? Okay. So, come on here. And we'll have you... Oh, it's Temple Wards? Shit. I just realized. Yeah. No, 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 no. I didn't realize. I was just, uh, you know... <sighs> yeah, I, I totally remembered that. But I just forgot it for a split second. What up? Alright, we're doing great over here. How are you holding? We're doing great. Are just getting destroyed okay uh, leave, uh, have the pikes come here lift your yours do that just leave some room for the whites to actually come in there we go 
so they can be finished off and you come from over here now let's see ah, actually from here let's go alright we'll have these guys into let's put them on shield wall they're not gonna get any kills but if we can hold them all in place here and then bring the other guys from uh, from the back oops run we should be in a really dominant position did we get all of these guys here yeah we did so just chase them down come on get right here we gotta charge them now so they will all be pinned in this place all right all right hold them back and now send the rest of the boys in actually come up here I don't want you like trying to climb up that uphill it's not gonna be that great all right I'll just uh, park these guys here and they can shoot whatever the hell they want all right we made it from this place have the pikemen go in first and you two can stay right here oh crap all right have the pikes it's still the same just move these guys back I don't want you to pick a fight, so uh, as of yet, position yourselves right here, Pikes, you are the ones that are gonna keep this place stable, move back, have the Pikes face all of them, uh, and let's get you from over here, alright, now we can do it, are we gonna break fast enough from here, let's bring these guys here, come on, go, Alright, I got faith in my pikes now. They shall do freaking great. If only... Alright, these guys are getting destroyed. Send everybody in. Alright, keep it tight. Everybody stay together. I just need you to buy me enough time. But I'm pretty sure these pikes are just having the fun of their uh, lifetime at the moment. Pikes are so freaking good. Even farmhand pikemen are just one of the best units in the game because of how easily they can uh, lock an enemy down and just keep stabbing him to death I guess alright we're gonna be overwhelmed we gotta break through like fast from over here can you guys be done faster please please go go move the temple wards up come on alright great have uh, these guys immediately come here because these ones are not gonna do that much, get out of that sealed formation we have to hit them in the back as fast as we can are you champ holding? yeah you are, you're fine oh no don't do that just shooting here alright who skulls meet the great swords I mean the uh, cell swords and you guys go from over here, you can keep fighting the bandits and yeah I think we're good. We have killed 60%. We have lost 37. It's all. Oh my god, these guys are just nuking the whole area. They, they are inaccurate as hell. So uh, please stand down. Who skulls? Are you getting on the cell swords as I told you? Wait. There we go. Mm, might have to move this guy back. Let's move him back. We still we still got whites here. They can be the ones to uh, remain and fight. So it's fine. This guy's doing good. And I think we can just fast forward from now on. Alright. Actually, let's bring them from here. So we get a charge. Here. Enemy general fallen. Great news. Man, just look at the pikes. They are fighting off for all this time and they are still just doing freaking great. Alright. We have the ability. There we go. I don't know what it does. I should look as soon as we get outside. This guy is getting real close. But he's got some stars as well. He shouldn't die. Let's pull him back. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. How much did we lose? 50% <laughs> It's fine uh, Who's fighting still? The enemy general Isn't this guy dead? Oh my god 
Somebody kill him. We can't target him. There we go. We did it! A heroic victory! Oh, I wasn't uh, expecting that, but fine. Completely fine by that. Ooh, I'm gonna definitely suck it because there's no building to repair <laughs> it's just roads and a farm all right lower the taxes and uh, we're going for the meeting hall first because we need to have a free upkeep unit um, the army can move but I'm expecting somewhat of some reinforcements what's going on here uh, we can have these guys come uh, over here they're really cheap and we will need some spearmen actually can we get some spearmen no uh, oh, I drop these guys in here can you go back no all right uh, since you can't go back uh, you just get me a tower here I'll just get one right here as well so we can move the spy even further in the south. Oops, there's Dunedain. All right, come up this way. Uh, can we just leave, I don't know, like this Angmar even behind and still be fine? Yeah, we can. All right, so let's advance. I don't think there's any rebels here. I'm gonna grab these guys when I need to. How's the money gonna be? All right, all right. Can we recruit some more? Can always go for some more archers. Uh, orcs and the wargs, I'm not gonna need them now. This Rudor, they're really cheap, so they're always welcome. Alright, let's end the turn. Send an emissary to the Undoing Vale. Okay, but first let me see if I'm true. Yes, I'm true. We don't have a trade rights agreement. It's only Litas. Actually, can't do. No, it's not. Just Litas is gonna have uh, an extra from that. But the good thing is, like Litas makes more money, so Litas, uh, so Mount Graham makes more money because of Litas. Same for can't do, and it all just keeps going on a chain level. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Now, uh, let's get you uh, coming. You guys uh, also keep going. Now, I'm wasting important time, but I think I need the towers. And, uh, yeah, just keep doing that. Where's those uh, spearmen? They can be the free upkeep garrison later, that is. So, you guys go right there. You champ, get back inside the fort. So now we only have like this guy on the open field, which is what we wanted. How is our army? It's not looking good, but that's why I'm recruiting some stuff from up here. We have a second diplo- are we in war with the dwarves? Yeah, we are. Okay, crap. Uh, okay, let's see what we can go for. I will try and go for what makes the most money? Can't do. Let's go for the Shrine of Melkor here. Uh, because of the growth, obviously. Mm. Alright, just leave these guys here. As long as we have these ones protecting, we should be completely alright. I hope. And these ones also. Like, if they go for Mount Gram, we get this covered. If they go for Bartelek, we get even more because we have one, two forts to support. And we'll see them coming, like, for sure. And uh, these guys are really good. These guys are cavalry. Yeah, Mount Graham Riders. Ranged. High accuracy. Not expected from freaking goblins, orcs. 120 meters range. Compared to 110 with the others. But 32 missiles, so they have a lot of ammo. 
and these guys are just good overall against any kind of armor uh, but they must not be charged that's their weakness okay so if we're gonna need stuff we have plenty available we can just pull some pikes and some troops from over here um, yeah overall it's looking good so let me just am I gonna need another diplomat let's grab one like it's always good to have a second option if we're gonna need it like we might get a mission to um, I don't know go uh, and parley with uh, I don't know uh, somebody on the other side of the map you never know all right let me get this mission oh that's a new settlement all right Framsburg damn it we can't reach it this turn it's fine all right you drop in there and uh, we shall uh, get you going all right leave these guys as they are and we can now recruit from here so you can uh, start leaving too Right. Uh, Angsul is a fort, so we need a lot of troops in order to overcome that. We will. Can't recruit that many yet. Mm, how's the money gonna be? We're still making a thousand, but I wanna build as well. So uh, I'm not gonna recruit from uh, the back provinces over here. How many turns for units to become available? Okay, they was they will soon be. Um, ah, actually, let me check their abilities. Special ability, where is it? Uh, three charges, good. Minus three enemy morale, locks own army morale on high. That's nice, and thirty-five percent chance of temporary enemy in fighting. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. So enemy units fighting each other. Damn, that's good. What about you? You do not have a special ability, but at least you're a night fighter. That's good. You? 75 probability to stun enemy units for 3 to 5 seconds. Ooh, that's really good. And 150% own army combat effectiveness. That's really nice. How about you? Do you guys have a special ability? Yeah, you do. Temporary fatigue reduction and 100% uh, army combat effectiveness, but substantially raises overall fatigue when done. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> Pathological liar. I wouldn't expect anything less from a freaking orc. All right. Uh, do we? Wanna push through? No, let's wait for some of our units to come online. Angsul is a fort, that means towers. A worst case scenario, we can just uh, wait it out. Like, suffocate them. Um, let's keep going. What about here? Let's get you going too. Right, all right. I think we're getting a pro a proper army. The money is gonna be tight. Oh, okay, we got the mission to comp complete now. Let's do it. Nice. What did I get? 750 coins. All right, let's keep chasing missions. Uh, goblins of Moria were already allied, so we're not gonna get one. Let's go towards the Wood Elves. Perhaps we can. Oh my God! Who the hell was blockading that? Whatever. Yeah, let's go after the Wood Elves. Perhaps we can get a mission from over there. Now, I got 9, 11, 12 units. Uh, I would really like some pikemen. Mm, they're not... We already got some, but they're beaten up. Can we merge something? No. Um... Mm. Yeah, the pikemen should come. They definitely should. I'm gonna fill up the fort again. It needs to be able 
to support the fight if need be uh, with um, for Bartolik that is let me see here all right that's a half stack I think we can take uh, Ang Sulon let's go yeah our strength match is theirs they have some privateer axemen you keep coming as well I'm gonna need you uh, the money is going good uh, what do we get here let's go with this one and let's get this one also okay they're not gonna make a move forts have um, they might not seem like a lot like just four units standing in there or more it's just that I have like four now but they're really uh, like keeping back like uh, the enemy yeah, they really work great as a deterrent all right so I'm not getting any other troops outside them um, it's gonna have to be with these guys uh, we don't have many battle whites mm. We don't have many Rudor. Uh, can we get some? Nope. Should have brought some of these guys. But then again, what should I have left in there? Oh, whatever. Um, what state are these guys in? Just 49. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna even bring these ones. I gotta do it. I will need the armor piercing against the privateer axemen. How much armor do they have? 12. Yeah, that's a lot. And I don't think like 49 Huskals can do it. Oh my god, we got blockaded again. But then again, we didn't get a mission. Or did we? And I didn't notice as usual. Usually I forget it during live stream. Uh, when I play offline, I, st I usually remember about missions. At least in the beginning when, you know, I need the money or the rewards, uh, the rewarding troops. Alright, we don't have a mission. So let's try to trigger one with the wood elves. All right, we got in their border. There should be one coming. Uh, uh, can you all? Ah, damn it! You can't make it. All right, it's it's fine. We'll just uh, go right here. We'll get you as well. Let's make the attack. Uh, let's get ladders. Yep. All right, you know what? Let's see how many towers can we get and ladders ah yeah let's stick with ladders if it's gonna be uh, they're gonna be on the walls waiting for us we gotta storm it as fast as we can uh, the money is still tight let's go with leather towers are not a bad idea they make some decent money and it also any new units that are gonna be coming they're gonna have at least one upgrade of armor it's always nice to have it so yeah let's go with it it's gonna make a difference against uh, the armies of northern dunedain because they shit hard more of a tarth i really hope that uh, the goblins of moria will uh, move on that position first and that's because like the elves are always isolationists like they're not trying to expand and that's why I'm not going after more of a tart because I if I move right up on their face they will attack me who controls Kameth brain I think it's uh, it's the elves they automatically get it on turn two did we get a mission nope all right we'll just sit here until we get a mission I'm not gonna parley with them if I don't have anything to get uh, this diplomat let's leave him uh, as a spy over here let's also see where the next city is because I keep failing over here always like it's really hard to keep track with these settlements they're just all over the place um, all right let's uh, quick save what do we got here axemen south swords lumbermen Ooh, crap all right it's gonna be bloody we're gonna lose troops we will
all right um, is that a good place I'm gonna get bottle necked here how about from this place mm, there's two routes going up so uh, I guess this is it now I wanna see what they're gonna do so I will uh, just uh, leave the ram over there you guys can oh actually not you it should be something sealed did so you guys remain over there uh, also leave the ladders here there you go do we have any archers oh my god we don't have anybody shit all right leave the army back same goes for you because there's I want to see what they're gonna do all right are they even here uh, privateer axmen are waiting for us all right move back you're getting shot Tim usually they try to defend the victory point let's see are they gonna leave no they're still standing here okay they're leaving uh-huh go back go back they feel like they have more chances on uh, if they um, fight on a choke point and that's actually true like we're gonna have uh, heavy losses on a choke point but we have the pike sorry what am I talking about all right we get a um, we get a storm the walls so uh, just go by storm I mean just go for the gate <laughs> I just wanted to sound more epic ah. come on go for that gate shit now they're coming all right um. oh do I want the ladders uh, I you know what everybody on loose formation and just come over here Come on. What the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Crap, mistakes were made. Shit. I forgot I had this guy. Alright, get over here, lads. Come on. Uh, what is this woodland hunters come on go what am I doing come on you guys preserve your ammo go oh crap we made it too fast ah oh, that's an absolute fail it's a mistake on my end move at least the general back go fast forward and you guys prepare to charge in there like you're going first in bring it down bring it down oh crap there's more coming I lost valuable time I lost really valuable time I didn't get the ladders it's fine I guess still grab them all right you know what I'm gonna do just get in get in actually two are going up here and two are going up here like immediately go 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 and the rest of the army will uh, just go for these guys like shoo shoo go in are they gonna go up on the walls okay that's great that means we can bring these guys and block any further reinforcements and uh, come on go up this way and you go up this way go flood them and where are these guys come on get up here get up here we gotta do this fast why can you not go in bring the hoose curls and let's bring the cavalry and you're gonna see why because I'm gonna position here and shoot down these guys all right we're gonna need some champs to hold the line here and we're gonna need some temps to hold the line here you go shield wall and keep them in place for the time being it's just archers uh, why are you getting go up 
What the hell are these guys doing? Go, f go and fight over here. All right, you boys stay up this way and up this way. Oh man, it's just a cluster fluff. I completely failed. It's fine. We're gonna come on top of it anyways. And I'm gonna need the who skulls to come from over here. I wanna go from there back. Who is here? Why, why are you going there? Since when did I tell you to go there? <laughs> All right, it's pfft. they can do it, I guess. All right, now you turn around, shoot the private Iraxman. You guys, are you still on loose? Yes, you are. How about you? Come on, get over here. Gotta shut that tower down fast. Let's hit this one. Oh, yes. We're doing it. We're shooting down on these guys. Yes. Do it. The tower is still a problem. Come on, go up, go up, go up. Not from there, for F's sake, from here. Ah, oh, whatever, screw it. We have them anyways. Just go and help out over here. Keep them in place. I want these guys to keep on firing. I need these private Iraqsmen dead. And I think I can get you now, as well. How much have we lost? Oh my god, same numbers. Alright, bring them here, away from that. Who skulls go? Just keep running. How are we doing from this place? Relatively good. We have some lumbermen here, but we got the pikes. That's why I do not worry that much. These guys got destroyed, but they didn't have great numbers to begin with. Now the who skulls can move in. I wanted them to meet these guys, but it's fine as long as I'm shooting them. And I am. So, uh, let's get you up here as well. Man, just look at these whites. Like, they, s they just keep going and killing Hillmen without getting so many losses in return. Alright, the archers from here are done for. So, let's get you over here. And you. Come on, go. How about these two? They're not all up yet. And this privateer axeman are getting destroyed by the missiles. That's great. Why are you still fighting? Ah, it's just a couple of a-holes back here that are keeping us back. Alright. Is that all? Oh, there's more lumbermen here. It's fine. Look at the freaking pikes here. Push, lads. Push. Alright, so go into their box. Go into their box. If there was another gate there, I would go for it. Oh my god, why are you... <sighs> Have the pikes go in the front. Is there something in the back of ours? No. And the others just stay right here. Get out of that. Uh, why did you stop firing? All right, great. Man, those whites. Absolute lunacy. How about over here? All right, we broke them. Move up this way. How about you lads, spikes? You know what you gotta do. Are they broken? They're not. Oh, you freaking assholes. And why the hell are you still stuck? Just go. Just freaking go. Oh, uh, now they're getting the stagger effect on us. You know, just a mass of infantry appearing out of nowhere. Ugh. Fucking BS. Go. Who else is here? Some Rudors. Okay. Alright, we're shooting. Let's shoot here. Uh, let's bring these guys up this way. Oh my god, they're gonna get so much value from this place. Alright, and now we're done. And what the hell are you guys doing for real? Just get them both down here. Now, now, all calm down. You're embarrassing me. People are watching. 
Oh. Go in. Do not send my armor against armor piercing units. Alright, the pikes are doing great, so we can send you as well. Yeah, these guys will just get crazy good kills. I didn't check uh, in the previous battle how many kills they got, which was a huge mistake. Alright, shoot. Come here. Please tell me you will be able to go up. Otherwise, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. Ah, thank the Lord we did it. Finally, the walls, uh, the walls have fallen. Alright, we can go from over here with some units. Or even the... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's bring you this way. And you come also here. Great lads, fight them. You can finish them off. Actually, you can come back. Oh, you were trying to go there from the wrong place. Oh my goodness. Good thing that I saw you, what you were up to. Alright, bring uh, all of these guys up here. Just come from somewhere. Actually, I'm gonna need one unit to come from here. So he can be the shield of these temple wards. And you guys just finish them off. Alright, please shoot over there. How are we doing here? The pikes are doing quite well. We have cell swords here fighting, that's why it's not, you know, that greatly uh, in our favor. Come on. What the hell? Come up this way. Oh man, I'm getting so, so pissed when that kind of stuff happens. Finally, they have started moving. Now, what do I do with these guys? All right, um, let's bring them over here. Come on, Rudor. Keep coming. All right, this guy ran out. Come over here. We're gonna try to charge these guys. Alright, you get here as well. Keep coming. Keep coming. The pikes here are still alive. Damn it, champs. Alright, alright. And I'll go. You get here too, but you will go against them and now temple wards can support here as well there's no meaning hitting this because we just saw that it drops morale by a lot but then again it does infighting can we see this like do cell swords actually turn around and fight each other <laughs> all right let's go in with you ah oh, they're not standing inside the victory point so they might get broken here but they will just get back in here and you know start fighting again all right uh, we want these guys over there and uh, where are these ones? Come right here. And go into these guys' backs. And let's get you to charge in here too. Now we go super fast. I think we're... We're allowed to do that. Alright. Doesn't work greatly. You know, as a charge, but... At least some of them are going in and doing some wonders. Come on. Kill them. Let's try again. Actually, let's try here. With all the wargs. Alright, we got this. Uh, and now, let's get you all here. And that should be it works you go as well there's no spearmen so you should be fine in great numbers um, he can stay he has 110 men he's got 10 stars so he won't pro uh, probably die and imagine noble death Ugh. that would suck so much 
Alright, that was bloody, but at least I, I stayed true, like uh, we charged in, we had the fun of our time, like I got a little bit pissed about the walls, but that's part of the game, it always happens, freaking medieval too. I mean, sometimes it happens in Warhammer, different, you know, some other glitches and bugs. And it was actually a heroic victory, because the bones of power counted this seed as really hard. Nice. Oh, damn, that's a full hour of uh, an episode. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's suck it. I suck it only because there's nothing available. So, uh, yep, meeting hall. Oh, we can already do that. That's nice. Retrain the Rudor. Uh, okay, are we gonna need troops in four turns? In one, 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 two. Okay, so we'll have available troops because I was thinking about recruiting from back here, but the time that they're gonna get to, uh, to go over there, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. So I'll just leave it be. And um, let's actually go with this lad and build some towers. Let's get one right here. And we'll get another one here because he's not a free upkeep, it's just these spearmen. Um, drop these champs in there. Always have the fort full. full. And uh, alright, remain as you are. Although. I think I'm gonna need this spy up here. Oh, there's Athelin. Let's end the turn and then I'll I'll end the episode. Man, I should stop doing that. Just you know, doing the towers on top of roads a priority. So, oh, there we go. We got it. Uh, I think I just saw that it was a unit that I'm gonna be rewarded with. Hillmen. Yeah, Hillmen are good. I like them. Bring them along. Exactly what I want. And yes, we have plenty of available stuff. That's great. Um, let's do this. Let's do that. And just because we can we'll get a tower over there so what's our strength uh, it's looking all right let's retrain these guys we'll have these ones as well which city lies here gob drain yeah i think it's gob drain so um we're gonna get some units from here let's move i'm actually gonna need archers what's the economy gonna be okay the money is looking good so let's see we can go with this And just go with this. Uh, can we get these two archers? Because I'm gonna need archers at some point. It's not nice not running around with some. And that is gonna be it. So, uh, what's uh, what should I name it? A. Yeah, Ang from Angmar. So I really, really hope you enjoyed, guys. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. Feel free to subscribe if you're not and hit that notification button. And yeah, gonna be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.